People, we have to go over some good news today. First of all, why did Bitcoin pump? Was it because the FTX scare is over? Was it because the core CPI um, dropped? It could be because of both of those things. But more so, it could also be because that the ECB, the European Central Bank, has signaled that it's going to stop hiking rates. That's right, people. And because it's going to stop hiking rates, people are not that scared anymore, which is really, really good news. Our old friend, Christine Lagarde, has actually signaled that. And I do think that's why Bitcoin has risen today. As you can see here from decrypt.co, um, the Bitcoin jumps as ECB signals in to rate hikes. Now, that's not the only reason, but it definitely could be a big reason. So the Bitcoin netted a modest 2% boost. Not much of a pump these days, but better than dropping. And I do think it'll continue to go up, hopefully over the weekend. Following the ECB signal that its 10th consecutive hike to its main interest rate may be the last. That's right, Europe, Europe might be slowly pulling out of the doldrums. Based on its, basically, they said based on the current assess, assessment, they do not need to raise the interest rates anymore. As long as they maintain the current interest rates, they can actually fight the inflation. So obviously, they don't want to boost the interest rates anymore because they don't want to pwn themselves. So uh, that's actually really, really good news for crypto. So after the hike, the central bank's rate for its main deposit facility is 4%, up from negative 0.5% in June 2022. 4.5% change. Analysts were already skeptical of whether the ECB would tighten rates again. And I think the signal means that people in Europe might be able to get money more easily. So I think the world is slowly coming out of the economic doldrums that it's actually in. The current rate still doesn't match inflation, which the European Central Bank expects to average 5.6%. So inflation-wise, they're a little bit worse than the United States, but I think the high interest rates will actually calm it down. And they expect the inflation rate to be 3.2% in 2024. And these are upward projections from the ECB's prior projections. But you know what? I do think like, these are better than what a lot of people expected. Underlying price pressures remain high, even though most indicators have started to ease, the ECB noted. Financing, uh, financing conditions have tightened further and are increasingly dampening demand. So people are not actually taking loans to actually buy stuff, which is definitely hampering the crypto investment as well as other investment. But now, since they've actually started to pull back, maybe people will see another option. So, the central bank now expects Euro-era economic growth to contract substantially, slowing down to 0.7% this year and 1% in 2024. So, not much growth in the EU, but when you're going after hard economic times, growth is going to be slow. I actually do think people should expect the economy to be negative, like when you're trying to fight inflation. And I think people's expectations have been so warped the last 10 years that we always expect economic growth to be positive every single year, even when the economy is, uh, when you're, even when you're trying to fight inflation, which is not realistic at all. So like, while many expect Bitcoin to rebound once central banks reverse course, Arthur Hayes, the guy with BitMEX, believes Bitcoin can win in both low and high interest rate environments. I don't really see that. Um, I think like, I think Bitcoin will stop dropping, but I do think like for a big raise in Bitcoin prices, you're going to need the banks to start cutting the interest rates. The neutral interest rates around 2%. So I think we'll eventually cut it to then, but it might be two or three years before we get to that neutral interest rate. Genesis is destroyed. And uh, remember, this is the company that deserves to be destroyed because they screwed the Gemini Earn users. And we will talk about the Gemini Earn users. They're going to be almost made whole. And I'm sure that will be interesting to some Gemini Earn users. The company has cited business reasons for no longer offering trading services via its British Virgin Islands based subsidiary. But here's the thing. They're basically going bankrupt. That, my friends, is the business reason. When you run out of money and you're destroyed, you kind of have business reasons to no longer offer trading services because you will no longer exist. 
See, like that's like saying I have business reasons uh, to not be alive because I'm dead. See, that's that's how that works. So crypto firm Genesis is set to wind down spot and derivatives trading done through its British Virgin Islands based affiliate, meaning that it will no longer offer such services across any business units. Genesis, a subsidiary of Digital Currency Group, has historically offered trading services via GGC International Limited. Of course, they're not going to do that because they're pretty much dead. GGCI, which is owned by Genesis Bermuda Hold Co. Limited, carries out spot trading activity and enters into derivatives referencing digital assets as a principal, according to Genesis Trading website. So the thing is, like, they're not really going to operate as a company anymore. They're completely shutting down and they're basically dead. Um, the open derivatives will be uh, honored through expiry, but you will not be able to place any more orders. The decision was made voluntarily. This is from blockworks.co. The decision was made voluntarily and for business reasons. The business reason being they are kind of going out of business. So that's the issue with Genesis right now. Now, about the Gemini holders, because I know some of you are interested in that, they are going to be made whole over time. Well, almost whole. So you might be only getting 80, 90 cents in the dollar, but I think that's much better than what you were expecting. A filing on Wednesday states that if the assorted creditor groups vote through the proposed deal, which I'm assuming they will, then Genesis Earn users are estimated to recover roughly 95 to 100%, 110% of their claims. Now, that's really cool because that's an average of over 100. I doubt you'll be able to recover 110%, but 100% is not bad. So cryptocurrency lending operation Genesis and its parent company, DCG, say that over 230,000 retail creditors who use Gemini, er, Gemini's earn program stand to be made nearly whole under a proposed remuneration deal. And this is very good. I know you've been waiting for like, you know, a year or possibly more for this, but you are at least getting your money back and you might get a little bit more on top of it. Hopefully you're not in the 95 category and you're in the 110 category, but anything near 100% is pretty good. So like Gemini Earn was used to uh, offer to customers of Gemini Crypto Exchange. They've been fighting Genesis for a long time on the legal battle to actually make users whole again. And I think they're finally winning that battle. So Genesis leading arm filed for bankruptcy in January after a double whammy from the collapse of hedge fund Three Arrows Capital and Crypto Exchange FTX. A resolution has been delayed for months by talks over the contribution that DCG should make. And obviously, I think this is one of the reasons why DCG is basically folding because they're having to pay too much for this. Obviously, I think they were fighting to not pay that much. But of course, because they kind of did really bad business handling, they deserve this. In the meantime... A uh, public battle has been waged by the Winklevoss twins to get the money back for customers, and it looks like they have been uh, successful. Depending on how the bankruptcy claim is calculated, earned customers are estimated to get between $440 million and $765 million of a claim uh, who asked, uh, from a DCG executive who asked not to be identified, said in an interview. The claim is estimated to receive distributions of $400 million and $535 million, and then on top of that, earned customers get $600, uh, $600 million plus of collateral that Gemini is holding. So that's very, very good for Gemini Earn users getting all your money back. Congratulations. You th sat through, you were strong, and now you are getting a reward. So that is the deal with DCG, Genesis, and Gemini Earn. Um, Brian Armstrong is actually advocating that DeFi companies start suing regulators for precedent. And the thing is, the problem is if they're truly decentralized, I'm not exactly sure how they would actually bring up a lawsuit because they don't have a centralized entity. You obviously can't get decentralized lawyers because that wouldn't actually work. So it's interesting to see how this would actually play out. But I am wholly agreed with Brian Armstrong on this that if they can bring a lawsuit, they should because I think the regulators are going to have a very, very hard time actually arguing that decentralized entities come under the jurisdiction of the CFTC or the SEC. And it could actually make some pretty good precedents for crypto. But once again, if you're truly decentralized, not only can the government not sue you, you really can't sue the government because like you don't really know who's going to represent you. And if you actually like have a centralized authority to do it, then you're obviously not really decentralized. And would, that would debunk your entire business and your entire argument. So they have some they have some things to sort of work around there because some of this stuff honestly does not make that much sense at all. But I hope they find some way to sue regulators and they find a good way to actually like, you know, get some kind of precedent in the business. So that is the um, thing with uh, DeFi. 
Binance.us, you should get out of Binance.us if you can, 100%. So the thing is like two more of Binance executives just left. The executive exodus at Binance.us has reached a critical level. The thing is if one or two guys left, that's perfectly fine. Three or four guys left, meh. But you're getting like 10 or more guys leaving within a very short amount of time. And these are key players within Binance.us. And when that happens, that is a red flag for the exchange or the service. So you should not actually be um, using Binance.us anymore. And if you are, you're setting up yourself for a world of pain. Because I do believe that uh, the American regulators are getting very, very close to their goal, which is kicking out Binance.us so that U.S. operated exchanges like Coinbase, like Kraken, can operate without their competition because I think the U.S.-based exchanges are going to find it really, really, really hard to actually compete with Binance.us. So that's what the news I have for you today. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I will see you guys later.